And that same system over us, but not quite packing that punch, right, Ivan? Yeah, thankfully so. And, you know, we've been talking about it, but it's weakening, but also the timing was right. If it had come in, I think, during uh, you know, 4 or 5 o'clock, when we're still uh, heating outside, uh, that would have been a different story. We probably had more thunderstorms. There's that one tornado report in St. Augustine and numerous wind damage reports across not just uh, Florida, but this continued, of course, uh, into the uh, southeast. There's the front now pushing through our neck of the woods here, but doing so with just a few showers. They'll be light to moderate. And, you know, at times you're driving under these, uh, they will seem uh, pretty heavy here, but they are moving rapidly across uh, our area and they will be gone as we head to through uh, tonight. Waking up tomorrow to, to some leftover clouds. Watch on Rain Tracker here how quickly this uh, kind of moves out here. We'll continue to see the drying and that will set the stage, I think, tomorrow for not just the clouds in the morning. Uh, we'll get rid of those, but the humidity is also going to drop as well behind the front. And as far as the temperatures, I think you'll feel the difference in the afternoon because of the low humidity, but the morning lows on Saturday and Sunday, those are the refreshing ones that are going to be coming in. So I don't want you to be getting ready for, you know, just freezing temperatures or anything. It's 60s, but for this late in April, it's a bonus, a low to mid 60s uh, for some of us across the interior uh, will be nice and cool, and then we'll warm things up through the weekend. Dry and mild, high pressure builds in, no complaints here, of course. This is just going to uh, take the stage and continue to bring us fantastic weather for both weekend days and continuing into next week. We've gotten rid of the rip current, so if you're making a Friday a beach day, perhaps you have some uh, folks in uh, from uh, other parts of uh, the United States that are still pretty chilly. We are looking good. North winds to 10, the Atlantic waters, the alerts going away, so that is going to bode well for boating as well. Moderate chop conditions there for the Florida Keys with one to two foot conditions, and it looks good. Uh, just morning clouds, and don't let that worry. If you wake up early enough, you'll see them, but by 9 o'clock, melting away to sunshine and low humidity, which will feel fantastic with temperatures that will climb out of the 70s into the mid 80s. So again, not as cool tomorrow morning, 72, but the drop will be both, both Saturday and Sunday. We'll wake up with temperatures in the mid 60s. The wind's going to pick up a little bit, so that's going to turn things breezy through the weekend. A little bit of a break Monday, but generally a breezy setup coming up for next week. But high temperatures are staying nice and comfortable in the low and mid 80s.